most of us have a credit card and probably most of us could make it work a little harder for us yes. by getting the best interest rate. Well, mine works very hard for me at the moment, yes, actually, in a good way, though. Mine's just about worn out. <laughs> we went to the streets of New Zealand and asked you, what is the interest rate on your credit card? Could be 20.5%. Yeah, I think that's about right, 19.5%. Um, I'm picking it's around 20%, but I don't know for sure. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no clue. No idea. Um, 22%. Don't take any notice of it, really. 22%. Wow. So, basically, let me get this straight. Most of the people we talk to, and I would include myself in this actually, we don't know what interest rate we're even paying on credit cards. Now, our business and financial consultant, John Francis from Prime Strategies is here. Now, John, are you surprised that most of us, and I, you know, I'm, in that, I'm in that group as well, that we don't know what interest we're paying on our credit cards? Uh, no. <laughs> You're not surprised? No, I'm not surprised You see us every all. single day. I'm very, very sorry to say I'm not surprised, but I'm not, no. <laughs> When it comes to credit cards, should we have an average interest rate? What should we be paying? Uh, oh, look, because there's so many products on the market, the range in, in interest rates, 135 to 22%. Largely, loyalty cards and, and the package around the card, plus the fee structure, can don't, it will designate which card you should take. So you can shop around. Does it pay to do that? You can shop around. Absolutely pays to do that. OK, so what would be the smartest way for me to use my credit card. Obviously not as I'm using it right now because <laughs> I can't get anything else on it because it's maxed out. Right, always spend on it um, knowing that you can pay it off at the end of the month. I knew you were going to say that. Sorry Seems to so do obvious. that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but if you do pay it off, obviously you don't incur interest and what that allows you to do is put your salary against your mortgage. So you're using free credit for 30 days and you're saving interest on your mortgage by using right. that cash. It's quite tempting though, isn't it, you know, just to keep using the credit card when you know you're probably spending more than you can't actually pay back. Possibly to you, Mike, yes, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. exactly it. Um, in fact, I'd say definitely, uh, but yes, that's, that's correct. And so it's, it's, it, there's got to be an element of budgetary nels that you, when you get a credit card that you apply. So can you, if you've got a mortgage with one bank, yep. can you get a credit card from a different bank if they're yes, offering, you can. say, air points that you might want? Or? Absolutely, you can. Okay. Subject to the credit criteria, it's no different than having two bank accounts with different banks. So what's the most important thing then you should be looking for when you're choosing your credit card? There's a few things, Mel. Firstly, the, the um, merchant spread. So how, how effective that card can be both in New Zealand and overseas. OK. Are there any that you can't use overseas? I thought you could use everything, everywhere. Well, you days. can, but the, some have more merchants signed up than others. So uh, you could go to a restaurant, they all accept Visa. You might go to a, um, a restaurant and they are more limited with other brands. OK. Well, that's very interesting to yes. know. Thank you so much, John. Great tips there. And I definitely need to get my credit card working a lot better for me after hearing all of that.